welcome you back to the Debrinning Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Mead. We are going to be doing a Lake Mead and the Colorado River update. We'll be talking about California soon. We are going to get right into it. It's been quite a minute since I made a video. I have been dealing with a lot of stuff, but hey, you know, life is busy and that is that. So here we go. We are starting off at Tropical Tidbits today and you can see this low out here not really affecting anything. You have a front coming through the Midwest, cooling things off. It's been really warm out here, dry as can be. We start to scoop forward. You can see a little low pressure kicking in here nothing too serious little monsoon afternoon rainstorms in nevada maybe down by havasu over in arizona and colorado has been fairly wet this year they have received quite a bit of rain off and on they are definitely not in drought we'll be looking at the drought monitoring here in a little bit you could see that it kicks down to 1004 nothing too serious it's pretty it's pretty early yet for all that but you're still getting these afternoon afternoon monsoon rains as we keep on scooting here you can see that this just continues over and over really light rain nothing really heavy there's some heavy down here along the coast later on as we go on there's suggestion that a low pressure will kick in from Mexico kicking up a bunch of rain there's more rain up here Wyoming Idaho a little bit in Montana we keep on scooting 997 isobars it's really starting to strengthen a little bit but this is not the one I'm talking about. It comes through another big storm, even some snow in the mountains potentially coming through. 999. We keep on scooting here, but there's this other one down here that's going to form and kick up here in a few. You'll see here in a minute. Another low pressure, 998. 1002, nothing crazy. High pressure out here, 1029. This has been fairly dry for quite a while now. They haven't received much rain. 997, a little Alberta clipper looks like it's kicking down from the north. And then it kicks right back up. So we'll watch that. And we keep on scooting. A little bit of rain here once again. Nothing too much. Nothing in California for my California viewers. Just nothing to talk about. 998, you have a little bit of rain here in Colorado. But it's on the other side of the divide. So enough to talk about there. We keep on scooting here. And this starts to happen right here. Now this could be a lot of precipitation possibly coming here within September 20th time range so it's still quite a long ways out but this is what it's suggesting currently you got a low pressure here low pressure here big storms in Mexico and it keeps on scooting up the Colorado River is getting clobbered with quite a bit of rain not really heavy rain but it's still rain and it's a consistent rain you can see it turns into a heavy precipitation possibly on the 21st which is the first day of fall and it starts to scoot out then scoot away at 994 isobars up through South Dakota, North Dakota, as that scoots up, falling this high pressure, and that takes us out to the end. Nothing in California again. And that takes us to September 22nd. Now that's a long way out, but anything can change. So we'll definitely be watching that. I will be back more often and regular going forward. So let's scoot on to the drop map and see what's going on. As we scoot out, you can see California is in dry to the north. Nothing too serious, a little bit of wet. There's no drought here in most of California, especially down here, which is great. The worst part is right here and right here. And then Colorado is looking pretty good, except for right along here, probably right along the divide. And then you get down here. This is moderate drought, nothing terrible. And you got abnormally dry here, abnormally dry here. Arizona as well, Utah, and of course Nevada. You have severe drought up here in Montana, not good. Even over in Idaho, you have a little bit of drought, most of the state except for the south east corner pretty much so that's what we got going on it looks a lot better than other years things have been much worse in other years you have to admit there is a time where california was mainly in drought so we'll definitely take this over this any day the only red is down here and over here in new mexico so and then a little bit in Wyoming as well so we will take this and let's scoot on here this was released September 5th just yesterday so we'll keep on scooting here's your seasonal temperature you can see it's going to be above normal in these areas unfortunately through September October November this is the outlook and then they say right here you have about a 40 50 percent chance to be above normal above over in Maine above in Florida along the coast here it's going to be normal so we'll see if this is right as we roll out to the precipitation precipitation you can see below and then equal chances up through here and below over here this right here is 33 to 40 percent chance to be below normal this right here is 40 to 50 percent chance to be below normal and this 
way below normal over here above along the east coast of America and out here in Washington along the rainforest above. Let's go to windy.com and see what the 10-day forecast entails. Your 10-day is showing some precipitation over here and this is the European model 0.58 inches possibly over here in Colorado with scoot in. This is close to Belleville's 0.35 inches. Aspen 0.39 inches. We go down to Gunnarsson 0.13 inches. We go down to Telluride 0.55. We go over to Grand Junction 0.06. Steamboat Spring 0.09. We come over here by the Flaming Gorge. You're talking about 0.2. We come down here by the Green River 0 inches. Come over to Page 0.1. Sapa possibly 0.28. Flagstaff 0.89. And Sholo. I want to talk about Sholo. It has been getting tons of precipitation all summer long. 0.34. I watch Nomadic Fanatic. He's always complaining about it. Just in case you guys were wondering. Lake Havasu 0.3 inches. We come over here to Las Vegas 0 inches. And let's go over here for good measure for California. Hello to my friend Yuba City Steve. 106 today. No precipitation the next 10 days according to the GFS. Chico, 0 inches. So like I said, just not a whole lot to talk about. Mount Shasta up here, 0 0.25. And we go down here to Chester, 0 0.5. Nothing there. Let's go to the GFS and see if anything's different here. As you can see, they're, they're not calling for anything. However, over in Vegas, they're going to possibly get 0 0.11 inches. 0 0.25 inches. We go to Sapa, 0 0.22 inches. So you can see the difference here in the two models. This is the rain that they were talking about 0.79 inches possibly coming so definitely a lot more according to the gfs compared to the european model 0.78 inches we go over to steamboat springs and they're talking about 0.36 inches up here by the flaming gorge 0.46 inches so you can see that they're calling for a little bit more heavy rain here as we've seen on the over on tropical tidbits and that is what we got going on there let's row to the 72 hour rain map and see how much rain has fallen over here because it has been raining over here so I want to talk about that next as we roll in here to Utah you can see 0.69 rain has fallen we come over here to Colorado 0.89 look at over by Denver along along there 2.24 inches that's crazy now that is falling on the other side of divide I'm almost certain of it it's really hard to tell on this map exactly where we're at but Colorado Springs got about 0.41 Grand Junction received 0.1 Aspen has received 0.9 but just to the east of Aspen 0.63 further in Colorado 0 0.81 so good swap of precipitation has fallen there not a whole lot down here come down close to Sholo you can see that they've been getting a lot of rain as well so let's roll out and let's start off at the Flaming Gorge like we generally do and we will go there now as you can see at the Flaming Gorge you can see that it's pretty well doing what it did last year it came up and then it just basically leveled off Last year it came up, it came up, it came up. This year it started to come up, then it went down dramatically as a release, obviously. But they did the same thing in 2022, and then they brought it way up, and then it started trending down. And it didn't do that last year. Last year you could see that it was trending down slightly, but not like this year. So they definitely didn't leave as much in, and I heard that was a problem. That's why that the Flaming Gorge ended up with more than what they were supposed to the previous year. So this this year they that's why they bumped it way down and then it slowly came up and last year took over so let's go see what the water level is today the water level at the flaming gorge is currently 6028.13 feet msl friday september 6 2024 at 7 p.m., the level is 18.87 feet below a full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.04 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.24 feet over the last 7 days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.48 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.79 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is up 0.52 feet. However, the lake is also down 2.48 feet. So the lake is trending downward your inflows are 2,984 so we might get a little bump 
in the next day or two. Your outflows are 966, so the water level is coming in a little bit faster than going out, so maybe it will change tomorrow. We'll see. Your three-year bar graph, we're looking at 6,014.31 feet in 2022, 6,030.61 feet last year, 6,028.13 feet this year. Percentage of capacity, we're still in the blue, so we're looking pretty good at 82.33%. Let's roll over to Blue Mesa next. The water level at Blue Mesa is 7,490.71 feet. We're looking at the chart here and you can see that the level has slowly started to decline. The level at Blue Mesa is 7,490.64 feet and that's Friday, September 6, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 28.36 feet below full pool. A 7,519 changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.07 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.81 feet over the the last seven days. The lake is down 1.14 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also down 2.96 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is up 0.27 feet over the last six months and the lake is down 12.06 feet. Last year was a really wet year so don't forget that. That's why the lake is down. Inflows are 881. Your outflows are 1,380 and this is a reflection of it falling. Three year bar graph. In 2022 we were looking at 7,454 4.18 feet. Last year we're looking at 7,502.70 feet and today 7,490.64 feet. Percentage of capacity we are currently at 70.31 percent. Let's roll over to Lake Navajo next. As we roll out to Lake Navajo you can see that it is trending downwards and let's check the water level now as we roll out to Lake Navajo. The water level is currently 6,044.94 feet. MSL Friday, September 6, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 40.06 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.02 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.67 feet over the last seven days. The lake is down almost a foot, 0.99 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also down 3.24 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is up 1.37 feet. A common theme here over the last six months so the lake did get a little higher than last year at one point in time but it's starting to fall all the way down the system here you can pretty well see that and the lake is down 5.94 feet so that is what we got going on there your inflows are 206 your outflows are 591 just as seen and then we got your three-year bar graph 6022.90 feet and 22 6050.88 feet last year 6044.94 feet as said earlier and percentage of capacity is 65.69 percent let's roll out to lake pal next as we roll out to lake pal you can see that it's trending down as well just like the rest of them so we'll look at the water level next the water level is 3580.54 feet friday september 6 2024 at 7 p.m the level is 119 points Four six feet below full pool of 3,700. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.01 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.57 feet over the last seven days. The lake is down 0.91 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is down 2.3. 73 feet over the last 30 days not too bad of a loss for 30 days the lake is up 10.99 feet over the last 120 days and the lake is up for the year 6.62 feet so the lake received more than it did last year at this point in time so that's good news inflows are 2086 your outflows are 9765 three-year bar graph 3530.71 feet in 2022 3573.92 feet last year 3580.54 feet today percentage of capacity we are currently 38.39 percent let's roll down to lake mead next as we roll out here to lake mead you can see that it started off high in march and then it went way down here to low in about the middle of august and now we're starting to increase just as we did last year however last year we never got that decrease it was all a bump and a lot of that water came from pal they were releasing more water out so that's why pal received more water this year however you can see last year was much better this year than it was last year so let's roll out and see what those numbers are now the water level at lake mead is 1063.56 feet msl friday september 6 2024 
at 7 p.m., the level is 156.04 feet below full pool of 1,219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.07 feet in the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 0.53 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is up 1.09 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is up 2. 27 feet over the last 30 days. However, the lake is down, which is the trend. The upper Colorado is going up. This is going down 4.49 feet. Not too bad. And over the last year, the lake's only down 2.70 feet. So not terrible. We'll take it. Your inflows are pretty good at 10,125. Your outflows are only 8,825. Three-year bar graph, 1,044.04 feet in 2022, 1,066.26 feet last year, and 1,063. 3.56 feet today percentage of capacity we are in the yellow which is better than being in the red 33.58 percent let's roll out to lake mojave next as we roll out to lake mojave you can see that it's the trend down and it's getting ready to go all the way down as they do this every year for their fish release but it's a little soon for that so we'll see what ultimately happens more water in lake mead though is the way i look at it so we'll see what happens let's go out to the water levels and see what they currently are today. The water level for Lake Mojave is currently 642.07 feet. MSL, Friday, September 6, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 4.93 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.08 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.88 feet over the last 7 days. The lake is down 1.03 feet over the last 14 days and the lake is down 2.28 feet over the last 30 days and just like the upper Colorado this one's trending up 1.74 feet over the last six months however the lake is down 0.82 feet just like the upper Colorado the lower Colorado is trending the same way but other than Lake Mead. Inflows are 8,169 outflows are 8,878 three-year bar graph we're looking at 643.28 feet in 2022 last year we're looking at 642.90 feet today six. 42.07 feet percentage of capacity 92.57 percent and our final and favorite stop tonight lake havasu i hope everybody's doing well haven't talked to you guys in a while and i sure am missing supercharge i wonder what that cat's been up to if he's still kicking or what's going on if anybody knows please leave it down below and we will take off 2022 for this as you can see this is up and down 450 is your full pool level and it's not showing but however this is what's going on at lake havasu and we'll leave her and take off 2023 and you can get a better look it definitely goes up and down all year long comes up goes down never goes above 450 hardly ever maybe one day it might let's roll out to your graph and see what's going on the water level at lake havasu is 448.31 feet friday september 6 2024 at 7 p.m the level is 1.69 feet below full pool of 450 changes since yesterday the lake is even it's 0, 0.00 inches so if it's that it goes in the up arrow so the down arrow is next with 0 0.05 over the last seven days and just like seen on the chart it goes back up 0 0.03 over the last 14 days and just like on the chart it goes down 0 0.17 feet over the last 30 days and back up it goes over the last six months 0 0.50 feet and how ironic it goes back down for the last year 0 0.01 feet your inflows are 9,109 your outflows are 3,823 three-year bar graph 448.03 feet in 2022 448.41 feet last year 448.31 feet this year percentage of capacity we are looking at 94.62 percent thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video we will see you on the next one god bless